Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. .com. In this video, we'll work through some examples of using the core aggregate and analytic functions to solve some problems. If you're new to analytic functions, there are some links in the description box, including an introduction post that will help you understand the basics. We'll start off with the list of employees in the EMP table. We're going to focus on the hire date and the salaries stored in the sal column. When we speak about correlation, we're asking if there's a relationship between two variables. The core function returns a Pearson correlation coefficient. A value of plus 1 is a total positive linear correlation. As one variable increases in size, so does the other. A value of 0 is no linear correlation, there's no relationship between the two variables. A value of minus 1 is a total negative linear correlation, as one variable increases in size, the other decreases in value. We also have two other aggregate functions. Core S gives us a Spearman Rho correlation coefficient, Core K gives us a Kendall Tau B correlation coefficient. All three functions accept two parameters representing the two variables we're testing for correlation. In this example we're testing to see if there's a correlation between the salary and the amount of time a person has worked for the company. The time served is calculated by subtracting the hire date from today's date. The results are not very thrilling when the data is treated as a single set. There's no strong positive or negative correlation on display here. By adding the department number column to the select list and including it in the group by clause, we limit the aggregate function scope to the department level. We now see a separate row for each department with the relevant values in each. We can see that department 10 and 20 show an insignificant correlation, but we can see there's a stronger positive correlation between time served and salary in department 30. To combine the aggregated data with the raw data, we need to use the analytic function instead. Here we add an empty over clause to the core function call, turning it into an analytic function. Notice we also have regular columns in the select list. When we run this, we see the raw data as well as the aggregated values for the whole set. As with many analytic functions, Adding the partition by clause allows us to put boundaries on the action of the analytic function. If we want to see the values on a per department basis, we need to add partition by department into the analytics clause. Now we see the raw data along with the aggregated data for each department. As in the group by example, department 10 and 20 show no significant correlation but we see a stronger positive correlation between the time served and the salary in Department 30. Partitioning by a different column allows us to test the correlation against different criteria. When we partition by job, we can see how correlation of time served to salary is affected by the job type. We can see there's a weak negative correlation for clerks, suggesting it doesn't pay to hang around in this company if that's your job, but remember this is a weak correlation, so you may not want to base your career choice on it. Salespeople have a weak positive correlation, but managers have a very strong positive correlation, suggesting the longer they work for the company, the more they get paid. Now you know how to use the core function, you can keep playing with it to see if there's something interesting hiding in your data. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.